Yo guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to go from this amount of diamonds to this amount of diamonds. And I mean in like <laughs> maybe a day or two or maybe even a few hours, depending on how good you naturally are at this. So let's get started. If you don't know, this method is called flipping, which is taking things for cheap and selling it for more expensive. But there's a lot to it. So there's actually three ways to do this. It's either by flipping huges, by flipping misc, which is enchants, potions, any other item, or flipping normal pets in the game. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And the first method is normal pets. Really, the only way you can flip pets is taking advantage of new updates when the best egg comes out. So as you can see here, I bought axolotls, 700 of them to be exact. And if you do the math, which is the price divided by the amount you got, you can see how much you paid per pet. And you can decide how good that is based on what's around you. I'd say for the standard of a new update coming out, buying like the third best pet or the second best pet, it's better to get like 150 or below per pet for it to be a good deal. So definitely try to get that in bulk when new updates come out to try and resell them. One thing that I really liked about the game was fusing because that actually helped earn money back like 10 times more than what profit we could have gotten. For example, when the ninja mascot update with the like cyborg dominances and ninja cats were out, I used to be able to buy like ninja mascots in bulk for like 140 uh, per pet and then I would fuse them and get like cyber rainbow cyborg dominances back so then it would be like so much more profit and quicker to sell. But fusing doesn't work as much as it used to, and let me give you an example. <laughs> okay, well, that's best for me. Well, it was fun. Basically, I would fuse like 20 axolotls and just get an axolotl or worse back. In this case, I did get something better, but it took way too many tries compared to last time, which was way more worth it than this. So honestly, I just gave up on fusing because I thought I was unlucky until I did more. I'm not saying I'm complaining, but I don't know. Yeah, fusing is not the way to go anymore. So in other words, fusing was nerfed and honestly, it's not worth it. Don't do it. But thankfully, I still have a lot more that I can sell for at least some profit, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes in a second. To be honest, if you just want pets for your team, it's okay to spend a little bit more. Because if you're actually going to use them, you know, it makes more sense than just buying them for flipping purposes. Like, I'll show you an example of something I bought that's not the best deal, but I can still get my money back and maybe even more if I sell them. But I wanted them for my team, so this is an example. So these were hard to get at the start of the update, and I paid about 1900 per pet for this, but I was able to resell them at the time for 400 apiece, and I could get my money back in just 50 pets. And to do that, you just do the price you bought them for divided by the amount of gems you're going to sell per pet, and then that'll just give you the amount of pets you need to sell to get your money back. Time to show you the full thought process behind how I resell pets for profit. So first, I have to look around and see what people are selling it for now. And I try to sell it for a little more expensive. Like, I see people selling 25 for, like, 40k. Or, that's kind of what I saw a lot. So what I'm going to do is sell them for a little more expensive. But obviously, when I make this video, it's not going to be the same price. So if you try to sell Frost Oxalotls for what I did, you're not going to get any sales. Because this was back when they were higher in demand. So what I decided to do was try to sell 50k for 25 and I realized that was 2,000 per pet and I was like, that seems pretty fair, or at least at the time. So then I decided to do the equation to see how many I would need to get to get my money back So that was the price I paid divided by price per pet I'm selling it for and I realized that was only 50 to get my money back. All I had to do was sell 50 so that means literally I have to do this twice and I get my money back. Which means the rest of the money is profit. That's the first step. We realize we make a lot of profit if this happens. You don't have to calculate this. This is just to see how much you would get if you're selling them all for this exact same price. But minus first the 50 that you need your money back because that will not be profit. That's getting your money back. So subtract the amount of pets 
you got minus the amount of pets you'll need to get your money back and that's how much pets will be used for profit just take the amount of pets that will be used for profit and multiply it by the price per pet you're selling it for and that's how much profit and as you can see mine is literally 1,162,000 gems in profit I really hope people still buy these for 200 a piece or 2,000 a piece because Dang, that's profit. So <laughs> the trick is to find a really cheap deal, like 140 per pet, or depending on whatever seems good for the time, because the values are always changing. And then sell them for a better price, they'll get you a lot of money, but 1.1 million profit. Unfortunately, prices dropped really fast. So about like an hour later after selling a decent amount of both the penguins and the axolotls, I did have to AFK to get the rest of them and then some of them I just decided not to sell because the prices weren't even worth it then so I didn't end up getting 1 million in profit because of how fast it dropped but I still ended up getting I don't I didn't even calculate it but it was it was pretty close it was a lot <laughs> I did end up selling all my jolly penguins for 4,000 a piece somehow so I just decided to do the math and decide I would need to sell 50 to get my money back first of all and then I subtracted the amount I was keeping which this isn't completely right, because I didn't actually mine the ones I was using for my team. I subtracted the amount I had minus just the 50 for profit, but I would really only be using 20 for profit because the rest are for my team. And I realized I would really only get an 80,000 profit, which isn't bad, but for flipping, that's bad. But I need these for my team, so flipping didn't matter as much. It's actually not bad at all, but for flipping, that's an expensive buy it now price. You try to go for lower ones that are easier to flip. But you see the thought process behind it, and I just wanted to show you guys that. And how ri it's risky to flip pets. But huge is a completely different story, and I'll show you guys that. I know it's hard to do because you have to, like, have pro servers and stuff, or I guess you don't have to, but it helps. But basically, to flip huges... What I would recommend is to see the value of each huge that you're purchasing, I'd use this website, 123 Demands. That's what I used to see the value of the huges. And see, as you can see, this one was 2.6 mil for this. Obviously, they're a little more than on the value list because the value list is a little outdated. Not like outdated, it's just like by like a day, but you know, values are always changing. So I found this cupcake for. 2.3 <laughs> obviously that's way less than the value it even says on here so i was like i should get that but i couldn't get it because i bought one that i thought was for a better deal earlier which was let me show y'all this thing your two level sign it was for 2.2 .2 million and it was like higher leveled so i was like okay that's a pretty good deal i could flip that and so I bought that, but then I couldn't buy this. So then I had to trade that guy in, and I gave him the slime and 100k to get this. That means basically, in that, all of that I spent, it was about 2.35 mil. So if I can get to sell this for 3 million, because, you know, a strength charm is, like, if you have charms on it, that makes it more expensive. But a strength charm is, like, pretty good on its own, so if... You even have that in like high level like level 39 one more level away from another charm slot that's like that automatically raises the value anyways so if i can sell this for 3 million 650k profit that's 650k free gems basically i just got by flipping huges but i wouldn't flip huges until you get pro but it's also kind of hard because you have to have five huges to get into pro and to flip, you're going to have to buy and sell and buy and sell, meaning you're constantly losing one huge over and over again. So technically, the ones that you flip can't be one of the five you need to get in here. It needs to be a six, extra six one that you bought. It's kind of hard to find good deals on huges because a lot of people are trying to do exactly what I'm doing, which is flipping. So there's actually a strategy to that, which I'll show you in a second. I wouldn't waste any money buying huge happy rocks unless they're like really cheap because then it's just a waste at that point that's a pretty good deal two charm slots level 59 yeah someone's gonna be, uh, buy that one yeah literally just now <laughs> see deals like that give up pretty fast okay y'all so now i'm on to the flipping of items uh section of the video so 
you've seen how I flip huges and pets, but now everything else is in kind of its own category. I would say enchants are probably the hardest to flip out of all these, but we'll shoot our shot. So one thing you can do is buy them just cheap in the trading plaza. If you see someone sell it for cheap, just buy it for anyone else to sell it for more. But the best way is to level up your merchants, which does take a lot of gems. And then you can get deals like this. Get an upper half for 400 dot gems when they sell for like, they can sell for 21k really fast right now. I'm just going to buy these to buy these. I'm not trying to flip those. I don't really want to buy that. But this, this can go for 65k. I've seen it go down a lot since I flipped enchants because I haven't done it in a while. Oh, I, I got to buy, buy two of those. Dang. Okay. So you look at your merchants, especially traveling. Traveling typically has the best, but sometimes it can be really bad. It just depends. Okay, these are, for some reason, people buy these for 25k, so buying these is major profit. I don't know why. Some people buy these for 10k when you literally can just hatch them and get, like, maybe 9k max. I don't know why people buy those for 10k. Buy the seed bags and open them. Never sell the seed bags, because you could get more of uh, the gift plant seeds in them. Which I did not, but you know, it was still worth it opening it. Sometimes you can get a golden watering can for 80k if you level up the garden merchant, but those actually don't really sell for as much as they used to. See, like the most you can get, let's like wait for this to go away and see what we get for just one of these. Yeah, you don't even like get 10k, so selling diamond seeds for 10k, like it's kind of rare to happen, but it still can happen, which is what I probably should have done. But I planted it instead, and I'm just going to wait two hours for it to hatch. But it's honestly just easier if you have less booth slots to grow those seeds instead. I'm probably only going to sell the lightning books for 50k, because I have two, and I'm trying to sell them a little quickly. But we're going to get a booth. The best booths to get is the ones, like, these the, on this row or this row, and, like, these four. <laughs> They're the best to get. For your stuff to be seen and sold so this will get sold really fast you'll see lower halves i would still buy them from the merchant because they're cheap and they can still sell for like 14k but the value is slowly going down for the low halves because they're so common we'll sell this for 50k because that's still a lot of profit these 25k because people are weird and they these these might take a bit i'd say if you have a lot of seeds or enchants that you're trying to sell i'd afk like if you were trying to sell bulks of pets because they're also hard to sell in fact i didn't even get to sell all of my frost ax axolotls but i got enough profit that i didn't really care to do that anymore as you can see i've been flipping a few huges oh that was really fast i'm surprised i bought that for 25k that quickly because they literally just hatched like a small gift bag um I'm surprised someone's bought my upper half of the key yet. That normally gets bought instantly. And for some reason, my seeds are getting bought. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just really confused. You still have to go based off of your own values and what you see, which is literally the hardest part because stuff is always, like, dropping and rising. But I feel like the most stable have been crystal keys so far. There's that. Um, Diamond books, I will say, Diamond 5 is worth 200k. So, honestly, if you see one for, like... 100k a diamond five literally buy that because it's so much profit even diamond fours can can sell for 45k but yeah that's how you flip items and people are selling ornaments for like 100k so if you buy them for 50k right now that's fine but i'd say probably don't do that well actually by the time i upload this video don't don't buy ornaments <laughs> I didn't think about that. Currently, buying ornaments for 50k and selling it for 100k would be good, but, like, literally the next day, it's gonna be awful. Large presents literally used to sell for 100k, but now, bro, this guy's being way too expensive, what the heck. They used to sell for this much, so I used to buy those. It's like, updates make this game exciting. Like, I don't play this game to play this game. I play it to flip stuff, get rich, and then get a bunch of huges, because it's fun. If you're trying to figure out the value of something, what I always do is try and sell it for the most expensive price that I've seen it on average. Because if I sell it for, like, the cheapest price that I see, like, constantly, constantly, then if it gets bought for that really quickly, and then I realize 
that people actually buy them for a lot more expensive than I lost a decent bit of value. So what I would do to try and figure out values is always sell it for the most expensive price you think people would buy it for first and then slowly like decrease an amount and see what um people buy it for on average and then that's what you can take like let's say with this i find out that people don't buy it unless it's like 40k so next time i'm gonna try and flip a lightning book it needs to be like 20k for me to get decent profit and me wanted me wanting to buy it so if i buy it for 30k that's only 10k profit i mean that's not bad like that's still a lot but you know that no okay that could that could have been good yesterday but today that would be a bad deal based off of what i've seen but thankfully i've been looking more instead of just impulsively buying because then i would have bought that and then lost that. like titanic presents aren't aren't going for that much as they used to like they go for like 800k now and yesterday they were like going for 1.7 million so <laughs> it's you just always got to look out for stuff and make sure you don't lose value. But if you do, it's okay because you know this strat and you can get your stuff back and learn your lesson. What I would recommend doing is never buy if it's only like 100k less than the value. Unless it has like insane charms or has two charm slots for a huge. And the huges I would stay away from that are going down in demand and stuff are the colorful slime, the peacock. The goblin. Nobody likes the goblin. Never buy a goblin. I'd say jolly penguins are risky, but you should still you could still buy them if it's a good profit that you could earn. Easter dominuses? No. I made that mistake. If it's like really cheap, then yeah, but I only bought it for a little bit less. So with trying to find huges to flip, first just go to pro servers and look for something that's like let's say you see a huge balloon dragon. So this is a high demand pet. You always have to kind of calculate that yourself too because it doesn't tell you the demand accurately. As you can see on like half these things. It doesn't even have demand for this. But this is in pretty high demand right now. So if you saw one for 3.1 million, if you want 100k profit, I mean you could sell it for 3.2, but honestly I'd sell it for 3.3 just because people will buy it for more expensive. But let's say it's like a low demand. It's like... This, I've noticed, is pretty low demand. So, let's say you find one for 2.2 million. Honestly, I wouldn't buy it. It's risky. Like, people will buy it if you AFK long enough, but it might be risky. Like, you don't want to risk it. But if you do want to risk it, I mean, go for it. But that's my best advice is to find high demand for cheaper. And pro servers is probably the best way to do that by hopping pro servers a bunch. But what you can also do is go to normal servers. But there's just less options to choose from. But what I did notice is a real, the best way of getting cheap huges is literally, like, find some kid with, like, three huges. One that you want. Honestly, the server is actually not a good example. Because nobody, I mean, there's rocks, but I'm not looking for a rock. I'm looking for a fun one. Maybe this guy. Although he kind of looks like he, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> because of his, like, outfit. But, you know, you can find someone with, like... Of only a few huges, then maybe they don't like care as much for price. They just want gems. So if you lowball them in like a server when you offer, they might actually take it. I've had that happen twice, and River has had it happen quite a bit too. So this person that that might actually be a good idea. I know these are risky to buy, but if I offer two million, they might take it. I think it's the. I stole your watermelon kid. You have to you have to offer like individually, personally. Personally trade them. And then to be like huge colorful slime. And then maybe put an end and just be like, I don't know, offer. I'd lowball first, do like the lowest price that you think, oh, that's a really good one. That had charms on it. I hope he's not giving that to me. Because then I'd have to offer more. What I'm going to do is just put in 2 million. See what he says. Since he's not chatting, he's probably just going to you know, decline. Yeah. But honestly, if it was the other one, I might have actually paid 2.2 .2 million for that. Because I could have sold it for 2.4 and maybe gotten profit. But you see the point. It's easier for people to get rid of their 
huges in normal servers. Like, pro servers, no. Like, there's no chance that you're going to get one for cheaper. Don't lowball too much, though. Unless it's, like, a 3 million pet, because they might not, like... It'll seem like a lot. Yeah, that's how I flip and get diamonds pretty fast. <laughs> As you can see, the progression of diamonds that I've gotten in this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you have any more questions, just leave them down below in the comments, and I'll try and answer as many as best I can. But don't go based off of all the values that I said in this video, because then again, like I always keep saying, they they change, the demand changes, the value changes, so just kind of determine your own by doing the trick of putting it up for a little more expensive first, and then just figuring it out. See y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Good deal. Wow. That, that was a good deal. A huge Easter Dominus for 1.7 million. Hold up. Let me just see what I just missed out on. What? That guy's gonna get major profit off of that. Holy crap.